Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the disk part command, which is a command line tool you could use to manage your disks in Windows. So you could do most of the same tasks that you could do from disk management, such as uh, create partitions and volumes, uh, format, assign drive letters, convert disks from basic to dynamic, and so on. Okay, so I have this uh, list of the more common disk part command line switches here. Okay, so to run it, we just need to open a command prompt and type in disk part, all one word. So you have to have admin access to run it. Okay, so it'll open up a new window here. All right, so these are some of the commands we're going to run here, just to show you how it works here. So before we start, you could do something like list volume to see your volumes. Then you could do list disk to see your disks. So you can see we have the 200, the 120, and the 10 gigabyte disk, which should match what we have here. 200, 120, and 10. Okay, so we're gonna work with disk two, the 10 gig disk. So we're gonna select disk two. Now it's the selected disk. We're gonna list the partitions. Shows you that there's one primary partition that's nine gigs. So now we're going to select that partition. Now it's selected. Now the next on the list is we're going to delete that partition. Okay, so now the partition's gone. So if we go back here, you can see it's unallocated. Okay, now we're going to show you how we could take the disk offline. Now you can see it's offline right here. Now we'll make it online again. Now you can see it's back online. Okay, so now we're going to create a new partition since we deleted that other one. Make it a primary partition. Okay, so we have our primary partition there. Now we're going to take a look at that partition. You can see it's partition one again, primary nine gigabytes. So now we're going to format it using the quick option. Okay, formatted. So we have our 10 gigabyte healthy primary partition that's formatted. And now we're going to assign the letter Z to it because it doesn't have a drive letter. And I can see we've got a little pop-up saying we have drive Z here, right there. And now it's a basic disk, so we're going to convert it to a dynamic disk. Okay, and now you can see it's a dynamic disk. Okay, so there's your basic disk part command overview. So as you can see, it's pretty easy to use as long as you type the commands correctly. So of course, just be careful when using it. Make sure you're working with the correct disk so you don't end up wiping out some other disk that you didn't mean to. And if you're the type who likes to use the command line more than the GUI, then this might be the tool for you. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.